So what's your name, bro? So glazy. So facts, facts, shit. So um, uh, where you from? I'm from the low end. I'm from from forty six. Facts, facts. So shit, how long you been doing this uh this rap shit? Shit, I, I started this shit when I was in high school. But shit, like a couple years, shit. Facts. Who? So, what, what, what? Pretty much the the whole drill scene in Chicago. Who kind of influenced you to rap? Like, where you get your your motivation from to kind of do this and, and differ from different artists and stuff like that? Shit, I just the people around me really like. I know a couple artists, uh, but like I don't fuck with their music and shit. But like, it don't be you no know, like real relationship. I just. Doing me for real, I listen to me. I'm my, my biggest artist, if you say. True, true. And um, I seen, I see like yo, your music videos, and I see like your music. Like, what's the process of Zo Glizzy putting together a song or a hit? Like, I know that you won't, you don't talk about, you feel me, the stuff that other people talk about to like say a take 600 or a 600 breezy or a duck. You don't talk about, you feel me, shooting up everybody. You kind of talk about the real life struggle in the trenches like what what differentiates you from them other artists right so like every really like it gotta really be close to me like it gotta mean something to me in order for me to come out with a, a single cause like i don't like talking about shit that i ain't up there but like most of the times you gotta expand the truth you feel me? so like I just do, I just do like what I've been through and what I've seen versus type shit that motherfuckers never really did. Cause like, shit, a lot of, a lot of music ain't made for the industry. Facts, so facts. I just try to make my shit comparison to others. That's how I do it. Facts. And uh, like, who would you say, like, do you collab with other artists, or are you more like a solo artist? Do you do you have a group, or do you, are you kind of like a, a one-man army? It's just you, and you going to pretty much, you know, speak, talk on, talk on. Uh, see, I don't, don't want to say too much about it, but I, I had a, a, a musical, like, shit, that's, I ain't, I ain't in it no more, but, like, that's right now. I'm just solo right now. I'm just by myself, independent. I, it's like, it's crazy, cause like, I see the, um, you feel, feel me, the more, more, you know, shit coming to, to you individually, rather than you being in the group. Right, you, get, right. you got your own 100% chance of doing this shit on your own, rather than depending on other people. So. That's how I see. Facts, facts. And um I see kinda by following you on Instagram and stuff like that, bro, I see you got like a, a huge ass like like fan base. Like I seen it, it's been growing over the years from you had damn up two K, it jumped to fourteen, fifteen over the years. Like how long like how long did it take you to establish your fan base? Cause people always comment on the video, they always tag or the share and they get like like seven thousand, six hundred thousand views or something like that. In a week or a day, like everybody fuck with your music from different states. So like, how you, how did you build your fan base? How do the people know Zo Glizzy and they fuck with your music like that? Like the process I go through, like it started like with me and my brother. Like he rapped first, but he like wasn't really taking that shit serious. So like, I just was begging him to get me in the studio and shit, cause like I've been rapping in high school, but he was like my more like. He influenced me more to like really do this shit. Even though I had like dudes around me rapping and shit, but like he was was like big influence because he 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 had his own studio and shit. He had his own computer, and we used to go to his house and make songs and shit. But like before I started learning how to do this shit on my own, he was like to me, he was like my my manager. You feel me? So. I was like really doing this shit. I really told him like I really want to do this shit. Then I did it. Like I just put my all in this shit. And 
You feel me? He told me get my fan base up first. That's my number one. You gotta get your fan base up. But after that, you got it. You feel me? Also, and uh, I gotta ask. Like, I be I be on Instagram and I see like the post. Like, I think uh the drill scene. Shout out the drill scene. They uh. Posted something and I think you replied to a rapper like I don't really know if it was beef or nothing I ain't trying to get in the mix, but like what, what was that whole little thing? Like what was the whole little altercation of the situation about like was motherfucker sneak dissing like was it some friction? Like what, what was it? Tell, tell us what it was. Like shit I just be seeing a whole lot of motherfuckers be sneak this on Instagram, but like it, it, I know it ain't shit. They just doing that shit for some clout Cause like See these niggas in real life and they don't be on nothing. 